Hello, and welcome back to QBank Pro Academy for another Q&A with detailed explanations. Join thousands of nursing students who have used our instruction. Remember to sign up for free resources with the link below, including a study guide, 75 question exam, quizzes, and more. Let's get started. Here's the first question. And if you haven't seen my recent video, Cardio Drugs, on five important cardiovascular medications that often appear on the examination, make sure you watch it right after this video. The nurse is assessing a 41-year-old male patient admitted with cough, night sweats, and weight loss who is being treated for tuberculosis. What drug does the nurse expect to administer? A. Ampicillin B. Isoniazide C. Erythromycin D. Piperacillin The correct answer is isoniazide. Isoniazide is used to treat tuberculosis because it is very effective against mycobacterium tuberculosis. Isoniazide is used in combination with other first line agents to prevent the growth of resistant organisms. There are some cautions when administering isoniazide, such as Hepatic function and kidney function should be assessed prior to administration to ensure safety. It should be given on an empty stomach if given orally. Intramuscular injections may cause transient pain. Patients should avoid tyramine-containing foods that may cause high blood pressure, flushing, and palpitations. Patients should be informed about possible side effects of isoniazide including peripheral neuropathy, paresthesias or pins and needles, and ringing in the ears. Vitamin B6 depletion may be related. Visual disturbances such as blurred vision, GI symptoms and hepatitis, methemoglobinemia, aplastic anemia, and agranulocytosis may result in severe infection. An additional box warning that you should be aware of indicates severe and sometimes fatal hepatitis has been reported. The risk of hepatitis is increased with the use of alcohol consumption. Thank you for joining me for the drug of the day.